Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add this hand to your drawings. Um, we had done one, in fact, it's right here. We had done an animation where I showed you uh, how to animate these elements um, with a hand drawn feel to them, like you're drawing them, but it doesn't have a hand. It, it didn't have a hand, it just uh, drew them on these things by themselves and you know that's good enough as it is but today I'm going to show you how to add this hand and make it follow the illustration that you have created in blender so I'd like to show you how I did it and then we can get started guys so check this out um, we have the hand here and then we created a path. I'm gonna turn off this hello, and I'm gonna turn on this path for the hand to follow this path. This is, this is separate than the word. This is se actually separate than the word. So, so the hand is following this path, not the actual word. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm gonna open up the startup file don't save and here's my startup file I've already created this hello word uh, and I've already animated it here it is animated and you can click the uh, video it's called how to animate a whiteboard explainer um, animation uh, and you can find out how to get that done not a big deal so I already I already just all I did was I drew the word out here's the word and I put this build modifier and it's animated in in 100 frames so if you want to if you want to know how to get that done go check out that video and here it is it just animates the word like we've done in the other video boom there it is now the thing is to to animate this so I brought this in this hand it's a um, SVG file from Illustrator I brought it in and all I did was I set all of the elements to point right to the origin it's important because this origin is going to snap to that um, path that we're going to draw and the path that we're going to draw is we're going to add a curve a bezier curve boom and there it is there it is I am going to um, grab this bezier curve and move it to where we can see it uh, I'm also going to turn off this background I'm gonna turn it off so we can see this curve here's this curve when I hit zero and I'm going to go to edit mode and you'll see that it's got two points and I can move them I'm gonna go ahead and select my tweak um, tool so that I could just grab it and start playing around with it and there's another one here Boom! there it is so I am going to grab this point, put it right at the beginning of my H, and I'm gonna grab this point and I'm, I'm gonna put it somewhere along over here and then grab this handle and start um, creating that curve. Now I can't see, so just momentarily, well, you know what, I, I might go to wireframe view so that I can see that curve and I can place it where I need to place it and manipulate these handles so that it follows that H. So I'm right here. All I'm gonna do is hit E to extrude and then place it where I think my next point will be and then just manipulate these handles so that you can start editing that curve
right where you want it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Select that point, E to extrude, and then move it. I'm going to move it to about right there. It doesn't matter how many points you actually put on this curve, but try to keep it to a low number of points because it is less complicated. So I'm going to hit E to extrude one more time and then place it right at the end. Manipulate these handles to manipulate the shape. And then I've got a problem because I want to stop right there and then have it go up. Uh, but these handles won't let me go up unless it messes up that other end. So I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to right click on this curve and set the handle type to vector. And that breaks it off so that I can move this up to where I'm going. And then I can select that point, hit E, and now it's a sharp curve. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click it right there and then I'm going to go back to automatic. That way it'll be smooth um, and I won't have to worry about that. Being a point, it's a smooth curve, but this one did remain a curve, I mean a point, a sharp point. Now this one, E to extrude, and I'm just going to go all the way Again, you have to manipulate these handles for, for the curve to follow wherever you need it. I'm going to click on that one. Hey guys, I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to continue to draw this. And what I did here, breaking that uh, handle, I'm going to do here. I'm going to stop here, break the handle, go all the way around, break it again, go all the way, break it, and then uh, continue all the way to the end. So I'm going to speed up the video and I'll see you on the other end. And here is that curve finished. All right, let me go back to object mode, tab. Here's object mode, here's that curve. And we're going to go ahead and um, animate this. All right, we've got one little issue that this location is at, uh, it's been moved. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna just zero it out. Zero, tab, zero, zero, cool. And now it's at the zero, uh, at the zero, zero, zero. Now I can grab it, add a constraint. Here's my constraint tab. Add a follow to path, follow path constraint. Click on the little eyedropper for the target and then select the curve. And so you see that it snaps right to the beginning of that. And it is um, going to follow this curve and we need to animate the offset so let's go ahead and and uh, click here to add a, a keyframe right there and at frame 100 we're going to do negative 100 and add a keyframe and that should follow the path there we go. There we go. Not a big deal. Now let's go ahead and turn on the hello back again and see how that did. Play. You can see that it's off uh, on the timing. I'm going to go ahead and hide this curve. 
uh, so we can't see it um, and you can see that the timing's off and we're going to go ahead and address that let me go ahead and open this uh, dope sheet select it uh, and I want to select here the graph editor so that we can adjust this graph all right cool uh, home and I am going to right click on it and interpolation mode let's go linear that way there's no ease in and ease out normally we want it this time we don't just so that it matches the animation of the word hello let's hit the play and see where that goes it's a little bit off still maybe what we could do is um, slow it down a couple frames just by moving this one frame over just a couple frames and let's see how that did much better much better all right cool and that's how you do it guys we're done with this uh, let me turn on the background so it looks a little bit better uh, and let me trim off some some keyframes and see it from the beginning that's how you make an object follow a path we drew a bezier curve um, so that this object could follow that path uh, on top of the letters that we wanted to draw so anything you want to draw it could be um, an illustration it could be more letters whatever just you need to create a path for your object to follow and you can have it do anything you want now if you want this hand to leave um, at the end after the 103 frame after frame 103 then we're gonna have to hit I and create a keyframe for the location here and then at frame 120 uh, we can move this out of the way and create another keyframe for the location so it should write everything out and then boom leave out of the scene and then leave out of the scene hey guys i hope that you like this video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe it really does help out the channel and i will see you on the next one thank you guys